tonight I wanted to get on and chat a little bit about yoga specifically wanted to cover a, a little bit of information about what is a yoga counter pose if you take yoga classes from a teacher or if you follow yoga DVDs or even videos online um, your teacher probably or should already be incorporating counter poses in and it's um, counter poses are important for helping to balance the body out after very big poses that open the body in one way a counter pose is going to open the body in the opposite way just helps balance things out front to back side to side um, also if you've been sitting in a pose for a longer period of time for example if you sit in pigeon pose for a while it just keeps the body in one position and so a counter pose would be just kind of even getting some wiggles out getting the blood flowing back um, evenly throughout the body and just kind of evening out the way that even the body feels, the muscles feel. So an example here I will show you would be camel pose. When you're in camel, it's a big opening through the back. So you come on your knees, hands support the lower back and you lean back while keeping your hips stacked over your shoulders. So as you do this, it's a big opening through the back or a big opening through the front of your body, your chest, and then it really compresses the back, which is why I'm supporting my back with my hands. So when I come out of that to help even out the sensations in my body, I'm going to come into something like child's pose, which helps to open my back the opposite direction, or I could come into something like a downward facing dog, where again, I'm pulling my abs in to help open my back the other direction. And so just to summarize, a counter pose is a yoga pose that helps, again, even out the sensations in your body, especially if you have a big compression one way or the other, particularly through the spine, through the hips. A counter pose is just going to open the body in the opposite direction to help even things out. So as you are putting together your home yoga practice, if you like to practice yoga at home, I encourage you to think through counter poses. And counter poses will differ slightly sometimes between person to person because our bodies are all put together differently. Our muscles, um, my muscles are good, or the muscles that are tighter in my body may be different than the muscles that are tighter in your body. Um, like I said, we're all built differently. And so what feels good as a counter pose to me may be a little bit different than what feels good as a counter pose to you. And that's totally fine. That's part of the beauty of everybody being different. We're all different. And so just keep that in mind when you're putting things together, when you're putting together your yoga practice.